Now, uh, let's put these up. How's everybody doing today? All going good. Another Q&A video. Um, I've got long, not long got back from food shopping. So um, I thought to do another one. Just uh, close these a second. Like I say, I got back from food shopping and oh, there you are. Hi, okay. Hi Jack. Right. Just uh, closing the blinds down. And closing the windows. Well, close the windows. No, uh, somebody's come on. Uh, Melody. Oh, Melody. Oh, oh, hi, Melody. You okay? You all right? Uh, it's a live video. I uh, did another like, uh, Q&A. Question and answer uh, video. One second. That's it. Just closing all my uh, windows up. So I can sit down and do myself a drink in a minute and do myself a coffee. So how are you all doing today then? All good? Hope you're doing well. Um, hopefully this one would go better than last time, the Q&A. Uh, hopefully this one is better. Yeah, me too. Hope so, Jack. Hope so, because this one was absolutely terrible last time, wasn't it? Absolutely terrible last time. So uh, it, needs to, it needs to really improve if possible. I'm just doing myself a coffee, so uh, I'll just put the camera there. So I'm just doing myself a coffee. Uh, where's the spoon? Uh, oh, somebody's commented on TikTok. Hopefully... This one is better. Oh, yeah, you, just put, you put that on you. So, getting quite a bit popular on TikTok now. Getting a, um, just had a couple, of, a couple more um, a couple more followers on there. Just get my sponge out to, uh, to clean my uh, spoon and that. So hopefully we'll get quite a few. Come on, hopefully. God, I need a shave, look. Getting up. How, how great I'm going. Getting old, <laughs> getting old now. I need almost 41 next month. Getting old now. Well, I don't feel it, but I'm getting I'm starting to go quite great now. It's showing, isn't it? You can tell. Where well, have you been up to today then? Not much, everybody. Uh, uh maybe do a 180 funk kick. Uh, I did the jump fun kick. I did the jump scissor kick. I did that one. Uh, you see, the only problem is I'm, I've got limited space in here. I haven't got much space to do. Well, I've got a, a bit to do stuff, but I haven't got much space, you see. So I've just got to watch the room because I haven't got much. Yeah, it's a bit cramped up in here. I haven't got much space to uh, do stuff, but I'm doing my best, you know. And obviously, when you're doing ground stuff, it's harder with doing ground stuff because you haven't got the room, you know. Uh, who's that? David, are you do it, going to do more grappling videos with your nephew? Yeah, I will do, David, yeah, because uh, I'm on holiday at the moment. Um, I will do soon, because um, I'm on holiday for quite a while, you see. But when I get back home, I will be doing some more grappling, yeah, because um, me and Jack was doing some before, and I will be doing some grappling, yeah, because, um, you know, it's only like a light, like a light grapple. But, you know, just going with the flow and bits and bobs and that. Yeah, I will be doing some. So check out for later on when I get back home. Um, but I'll let you know anyway. I'll, I'll keep um, my channel going anyway and let you know about when I do some more grappling, you see. But um, I can do a few bits and bobs here. But it's not really the same as doing like, um, you know, obviously like um, a partner, you see. It's just doing my coffee now. So it's not like uh, doing a partner. So uh, I'm just going to sit down now. Um, um, but it's all good fun though when you're doing a bit of grappling though you know obviously you do standing and then they go you go down to the ground you see so obviously you start off standing then you go to the ground just in case the fight go, does go to the ground because you never know if it does go to the ground one day because you, you know it might happen it might not so but i like to obviously be standing as much as possible you see just move the table up come on move 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 that's it 
so, so I can reach my coffee. Yeah, so we're uh, grappling this fun and oh, sit down. grappling this fun and everything. So we're uh, yeah, just going to uh, hold the camera like that. Sit. So I'm sitting there now. I've got me uh, me a club of land top on again. Uh, what's that? Melody, you're the best at jujitsu. Is that me? Is that me, Melody? <laughs> oh, right, thanks. <laughs> I don't know about the best, but I try my best, you know. Have you seen those? Hey, Melody, have you seen those grappling um, videos, what me and Dirt Jack did on my channel uh, a while back? You know, for on holiday. Um, yeah, uh, we see with me, you see, I go with the flow. I don't like, um, you know, I, I don't like, uh, do strength by strength. I just do it like you know, I go with the flow and I go, I go like you know, take it easy and I flow it. So obviously, because when the other person will be gassed out, and obviously when you do that, you see, then um, all oh, part two. Yeah, yeah, I've done, I've done a couple. Uh, oh, she's seen them. Oh, she's seen them. Actually, Jack. Oh, right, I didn't know. Yeah, but uh, there will be some more grappling videos coming on the way for you. Uh, when I get back home, so when because obviously when I get back home, you see, I'm going to be I'll be going to be doing a lot of stuff because obviously I've been over here for a long time, and um, you know, and, and there'll be lots of stuff to do when I get back home, and that. But I'm doing as much training I can here, you know, while I'm here, you see, um, as much as possible. But I'm just trying to keep everybody entertained, you know, and because uh, I'm by myself, you see, and it's hard, you know, to. Um, do stuff sometimes about a partner, but I try my best, you see, to do stuff about a partner. But um, yeah, more grappling's on the way. So um, obviously, um, different ones I'll be doing when I get back home. So if you wanted to see any more about, if you, if you want to see something else, just let me know, and I'll try my best to help, you know, to help um, do stuff and that. Um, but uh, if a if a fight does go to the ground, you know what to do when you're on the ground. You see, and it's best to have uh, standing and ground work because you don't know if it might that might happen. Because uh, I've seen a few uh, outside um, where things happen and they go to the ground and people panic. They flap like a fish out of water. They start flapping like this, like a fish out of water, and they panic. So um, it's best to cover both. You see, uh, more. Uh, what's that? More me getting beat up. Jack says. More me getting beat up, Jackson. <laughs> getting beat up. All right. <laughs> I don't know about that, but uh, more me getting. Maybe teach the American arm lock. Yeah, I can. You see, but I can't really do it without a partner, can I? I mean, I can. I probably can do the 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 move itself, but it's kind of hard without a partner. But um, when you get a bit older, Melody, you know, you could probably start learning stuff. You know, you know, when you get a bit older, if you wanted to. Uh, or if you're learning some stuff now, you know, I mean, you can learn at any age. It doesn't matter how old you are. You can still can learn at any age. You know, you can, you know, stand in front of a mirror and you start doing a few a few bits and bobs. So, you know, if you want to do that, you know, to protect yourself one day, because you never know, do you? Yeah, the American armor. I, I, I want to do the, um, yay. I want to do the, um, I want to do the Kimura one as well from the guard as well. I want to do that. Because I don't think anybody's seen that yet. But I did it on my other video. But I like broke it down. But the Kimura from the guard is nasty. You can actually break somebody's shoulder with that. And it's it's very nasty. So you only kind of do that if you have to do it. But um, it's very nasty. But what I'm thinking about doing as well. I'm thinking about doing a, a, a grand video. Where you start throwing some uh, nasty, nasty stuff in it. Where it's basically, it's like basically dirty fighting. So basically you start throwing bites in. It's like <laughs> bites in and, and, and scratches and bites and stuff like that you stop throwing that stuff in but uh, you know um i thought about doing that yeah so basically um if if I, if melody does all right me to talk about this but i don't want to you know to like scare her or anything but um yeah just throw some nasty stuff in because obviously you know when you go with the flow and you're doing the grappling but you actually you actually throwing some stuff in as well some nasty stuff like you know that one i did with the sea grip so you could even probably stuff do stuff like that as well you see so you can it's going to be nasty for that other person uh, when you're doing that to them and it's going to and it's going to and it's going to, it's going to do some damage sorry will you what's that will you show us the body triangle and the 
best way to use that? Is that a is that a triangle you mean? Is that a triangle choke you mean? Uh, triangle. It, it, it sounds like a triangle choke. I think that sounds like it sounds like. But I say I can't really do it without a partner. But I, I can try and do it. But it'd be it's better with a partner. See, so. okay. Um, Benjamin bites and what's that? Bites and bumming. No bites, not bumming. No bites, bites and scratches and <laughs> bites and clawing them. And and getting the raking the throat out and raking it and and and, and gr grabbing the groin and squeezing the groin and twisting it. That's what you call nasty. That's what I'm going to be doing. That's the nasty stuff. So obviously you have to. You only have to do that if you have to do it. So that's the nasty stuff. Yo. Uh, oh, oh, hello, uh, Deadly Arts O2. Is that O2? Yo, yo to you as well. How are you doing? Are you having a good day today? Hi. Uh, oh, hi. Hiya. You all right? So I was just saying, um, oh, oh, okay, mate. Oh, cool, nice one, big thumbs up from me. So nice to it, it, nice to have a good uh, chat this time because last time I did Q and A, it went really quite bad. Uh, it was having some some dickheads on there uh, calling me and calling my, my nephew and stuff like that. But hopefully they, hopefully they won't come on again. Bless. Oh, thanks. Hey, I like your username, Daddy Art. Is that Daddy Art? I like your username. Daddy Art 102. <laughs> I like that. That's cool, that is. I like that. Stupidity. Yeah, I know they are. Stupidity, I know. Calling me, you know, calling me all names under the sun. Oh, my God. I've got, I've got to shut my... Uh... I've got a second. Hang on, guys. Just shut my window. Shut my window. So, I wonder why something is blowing behind my neck. <laughs> I thought something was blowing behind my neck. Uh, where are we? Uh, maybe the full Nelson. Um, yeah, you know when we did the full Nelson, didn't we, Jack? Remember me and you did that full Nelson one. We did that um video, didn't we, full Nelson? Remember when you had to do? We did that. Remember? And then obviously pushed down. Uh, yeah, had it full full time. Is that your is that your username? Could you beat Steve? Could you beat Steven Seagal? Uh, <laughs> don't know. <laughs> I never I've never seen Steven Seagal, so I don't know. Can't say. Uh, name. Uh, name. I remember doing it. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, for Nelson one. Steven Seagal though. Well, I mean, I mean, you you never really see Steven Seagal in a fight, have you? You've only seen him. You've only, you've only seen him like do the demonstration, but you've actually seen him in a real fight. I've never seen him actually do a real fight. Have you? Only like in the gym. But like I say, the gym is a self-controlled environment. So what would it be like outside in the real world? It's hard to say. Maybe the GTS. Is that good to sleep, uh, uh, Melody? Is that G is that good to sleep? Um, what uh, CM Punk used to do in, in WWE. I remember doing that. But like I say, it seems to go though. I don't. I don't know. But you know, I I only use my stuff for self-defense. I don't use it to go around, you know, hurting anybody because I don't do that. I just use it for my self-defense. You know. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah. I go to sleep. Like that. Does that? Hang on. One second. Just hold that. What does that? Hang on. There. That. Does that? Then it goes, go to sleep. Like, and it does the go to sleep move. Yeah, the GTS. Yeah. But it's a good move, actually. I like that. It's a good move. But um, if you think, I mean, it's only a movie, but you know when Mr. Miyagi says in Karate Kid, when he says fighting always lasts to answer to problem. That's what I think. Fighting always last answer to problem. And um, he says in the next Karate Kid, he goes, oh, fighting not good. Someone always gets hurt. So basically, he's right, I think, in a way. I think he's right. And when he says in Karate Kid 1, he goes, uh, it's for defense, Karate for uh, defense only. So basically, it's for defense only. Boom. Boom shakalaka to the people in one. <laughs> yeah. But... Um, I do agree with him, though. I know it's only a movie. I know it's only acting, but I do agree with what he says about, you know, it's it's, only, it's the last answer to the problem, fighting. Yeah. You only really do it. You have to really do it, you see. And um, that's just what I think. But um, if you have to do it, you have to do it. But I try to walk away from it, and I try to, like, you know, diffuse it as much as possible, like I say on the other videos, you know, but um, that's what I do. How did you become so dangerous? 
well, it's well, it's before the train. I've done over the years, Ben Benjamin. Um, been doing a lot of train over the years. You see, I I study a lot of street self defence. I do a lot of that. Um, I have done stuff in the gym, you know, sports stuff in the gym. But my main focus is is out there, in the street, because I've said on a, a couple of videos before that that in a in a ring or in a gym. You know, in a ring, you got a referee and you got rules. In a gym, you got a self-controlled environment. But out there, there's no referee and there's no rules. So I like to do my stuff out there. Yeah. But um, don't get me wrong. I mean, being in a gym is good. I like being in a gym. But, you know, you're in a self-controlled environment. You're not going to get hurt either. But out there, you, you you know, it's a different story, you see. Um, I train as well. I know you do, Jack. Yeah. Been training for 11 years now. Yeah. Do you also work out? Um, yeah, I do some bits and bobs. I don't, well, not weights, but I do like cardio and stuff. I do my cardio. I do stuff like that, you see. Uh, deadly arts. Mate, could you tell us a story when your life was threatened? Uh, I've not really had one where my life was basically threatening, basically I'm going to die, basically. I've not had that, but I've come close to it before. Not, but not, not really, really serious. But I've come close to it in some ways because one, one night I was in a chippy in town. I had a few drinks. I went out with a mate, and I had this guy um, causing problems in the in the chippy, and he was and he was a foreigner. I think he was Romanian or something. I don't know what he was, but he wasn't English. And then I was get serving, uh, you know, get at the counter a burger, and and you got this guy saying things about Iraq and a bit and about you know, all this kind of stuff. And I thought, oh, oh no, he, he sounds a bit weird, doesn't he? And then he started saying stuff to me about things like that. I guess we, we've been in the war, we've done this in the war, Iraq, we've done this, we've done that. And I'm thinking, well, um, uh, I goes, well, I thought myself, yeah, okay then. And I tried to push it off, but obviously he started getting more aggressive and more aggressive. And he started to come up to me, goes, hey, hey, go, hey, hang on. And I'll have to put my bag up, he goes, back off, not nah. that. Don't come near me. I don't give a damn about what you say. Just go away. And obviously, he couldn't even understand because because obviously the phone. I was English, and and I guess I said to him, "Goes look, just back off and leave me alone, okay? I don't want no trouble. I've just come for some food, and I'll be on my way." And he and he come up, he come up a bit more closer, and I thought he's going to throw something at me. or He's going to do something to me. So I had my hands up, and I was ready. I was like this, and I was like, "Right, okay, then." Right, and obviously he, he put his hand on me like that, and he went to do this. And so I had, to, I had to defend myself and, and take him down. I had to do, obviously, the palm strike, and I striked him across the, across the side of the neck there, and I did the, the, the inside to go with sweep, and I took him down. I got his arm, and I went like, I wrapped his arm. I didn't break his arm, but I said to him, he goes, I don't want any trouble. Don't pick on me like that. And he started, like, going, oh, I'm, I'm, you've hurt, you broke my nose and all that. Like, you know, like, in that phone, I was like, you broke my nose and stuff like that. And and I, and I let go of him, and I just I just got my burg, and I just walked, and I just walked away. So, but, uh, and that, uh, where are we? So that's one of the stories there. Uh, I want to go to your house. Well, you can sometime, Melody, if you want, you know, if you want to. Uh, what's that? Very sorry. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, you just get some idiots, don't you? Yeah, thanks, mate. It's all right, no problem. No problem, mate. But I've not had... A situation where that I feel like I'm in really real real danger. I'm not at that, but obviously you don't know, do you? See, that's why I do a lot. Of, that's why I do a lot of. I do a lot of street self defence because, like I say, because you never know one day if you'll need it one day. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of idiots out there. There's lots of people out there. You mean if you could be on drink, drugs, they could be they could be up to the eyeballs and anything. Yay! That's all right. Anytime, uh, Melody. That's all right. Big thumbs up for mate from me. So yeah, but I mean I'd say the the street stuff is good. I mean if you, if you want to train for competition, you can train for competition or a tournament. Yeah, that's great. But to me, street self defense. I think street self defense is the best. That's what I think. Yeah, I also do street also do street self defense and jujitsu. Yeah, but it's like that video you watch this. I think I said to you before. You watch this video where this girl was trained for, for a competition. She was a black belt in karate. And she's bounced up and down. She's going in for one hit shots, one hit shots and out, one hit shots and out. Uh, what's that? I'm, I'm outside, look. Oh. So, um, in you know, in, out, in, out, in, out. And I'm thinking, well, um, 
I mean, it's good, but obviously, um, you know, one point, one shot and in now, that's not going to do nothing out there when you're full to dra- when your adrenaline's kicking in and that. And when she went, ah, oh, yeah, ah, oh, yeah, and in and out. So that's that's trained for that's trained for a tournament. That's trained for competition points point sparring. But to me, that that won't work out there. If somebody's up to adrenaline and they and you you one shot hit them and they're out, that they, they, they're just going to laugh at you. They're thinking, what's that? I mean, don't get wrong, she was good what she was doing. Don't get wrong, she was good. But to me, that, that won't do anything out there. Uh, that's just my opinion. But people might disagree with me. That's just my opinion. Um, uh, Carly work with Carly sticks. Yeah, Carly sticks. But you can use anything as an improvised weapon, though. I mean, you think you could even you could even use your, an umbrella. You know, an umbrella with it range, you can use umbrellas that is like a Carly stick. You can use that. Use a gun, yeah. If you do that, Benjamin, you'll 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 get you'll get done for murder. So you got to be careful. So you won't really do that, would you? You know, that that's the last resort doing that because obviously if you if you did that and somebody died, you, you're going to get sent down for lo- for about for life imprisonment. So you got to be careful. So I don't really agree with you on that, no. But you know, but um, obviously. Uh, well, that's just my opinion, but obviously people dis- might disagree. But well, uh, do you have uh, Carly sticks? No, not with me. No, they're at home, aren't they? Not here. I have had experience with Carly sticks. Have you? All oh, right. I might probably do a couple of um, moves with the Carly sticks. You know, just like the empty hand, empty hand ones. I might do that. I might do that. So, uh, you pick up a chair for a fence. They call it some. In way of you, uh, way of you and the uh, attacker. Yeah, you can do that. I've actually, got, I actually want to do a video of that. Um, where you, in, where you in a bar? Just say you are in a bar, you have a beer with your mates or something, and and just say you get some dick in there causing problems. Right, it's pissed as usual. Sorry, it's pissed. And and, and if he just say if he pulls a blade out, right, and you will you will grab anything you can to defend yourself. If you grab a chair. You can use that as a shield, and you can obviously hit them, hit the guy with that chair, and and, and uh, you would do it. You, so just say, just say if I got the, just say if I got the chair, and he was like trying to stab me. That that we could use as a barrier. That I could use as a shield. So obviously, if he tries to stab me with that, obviously I'm going to protect myself. That could smash him like that in in the face or or the body with with the chair. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, I want to do a video of that soon. Uh, but obviously, I haven't got any chair. I mean, the only chair I've got is my, obviously my, my gaming chair, but I can't really do that. So it, that's not really a chair. It's just a, a gaming chair. But you can do that. You know, if you grab like a stool, you know, we sit down the bar, you grab like a stool or something, you can do that. So, yeah, you can do that. But um, if you a bar or anything like that, and you you will definitely grab something and, 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 and whack them over there, whack them with it. You don't give a damn. If he's got a weapon on you, I mean, just say if he's somewhere's broke, got a, a beer bottle and he smashed it on on the on the table, that's a weapon. You say you will you will grab a, you will grab a chair or you grab anything, and you would use it. Maybe the knee to the groin, yeah, yeah. Obviously, the old fashioned knee to the groin, or or, or a sickle kit to the groin, or or a straight kit to the groin. Yeah, definitely. You'll definitely do it. Absolutely, without a doubt. Definitely would. Um, is it okay to bat a nipple? Well, if you, what if you, if you had to do it, then yes, yes, definitely. But I say, I, I said, I said on the bit of on the, of, uh, the on the bit of the video, I am going to do a video where you're on the ground and you do and you start throwing the dirty stuff in the biting and the, and, and the scratching, the clawing and 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 the grabbing the groin and squeezing it and and and, and stuff like that. I'm going to do that. But you'd only do that if you have to do it. But it, you know, I would do it. Yes, I would. If I had to do it, I'd do it, and that's it. I don't care. If I feel like I'm in danger, I would do it, and that's it. If fighting is dirty, it has to be done, do it. Yeah, I agree, yeah. But I always say to myself, I'd rather be first than last, because if you let some guy or whatever hit you, and, and, and you know, they could hurt you, they could put you in a hospital, they could put you in A&E, they could, it could even be life-threatening. So you you would you would do it to them first. You, I won't give a damn if it's a man or woman, because women do it now as well. Women think they can hit men, 
and I will do it. I don't give a damn if it's a man or a woman. Obviously, I don't like to. I don't like to hit women because obviously I don't. But if she come, if she tries to do something that to me like that, I will do it, and I don't give a damn. I don't care because I will do it because I have to protect myself. Because if you don't protect yourself, then she could hurt you. She could grab and grab you one of his shoes and whack you in the over the head with it. She can go an, an handbag. She can hit you with a handbag, or she can grab a purse and whack you with it. You know, I've seen some videos where men just stand there and get taken. She's, she's, the woman's punching the guy standing there, taking. Him. I'm thinking, what, what are you doing? Why are you letting a woman hit you? You wouldn't do it, would you? Seriously. Um, I kicked a lesbian. Is that bad? No, it's not. Did, did she try to start on you? Did she try to get in your space and try to think she could beat a man up? Yeah, do it. Do it. I don't give it. I won't give it. I'm. I mean, I, I was at, I was in a night club um, a, a couple of months ago, and I was dancing on the dance floor. Mind my own business, I'm a beer dancing, and this girl. Uh, well, I, I looked at this girl and I smiled because I, I thought she was fit, and I thought, oh, she's fit. And then all of a sudden, this girl come around from from nowhere, stood in my space. Her face was like that to me, like this. She was like, she was like, she, she was staring at me, going, "That's going." That like, basically staring at me in my face, and I'm, I looked at her. Goes, I smiled at her. That like, goes, problem. And she goes, no. And I goes, well, get out of my space then. Don't come in my space. Seriously, don't stand there, okay? So she stood there. I don't know why she what she was doing. I don't know. She stood there, no expression on her face. She stood there, went for like that. I don't know if... What's that? Oh, she tried touching my mother. Oh, all right. Well, you would protect your mum, wouldn't you? You would. I'll protect my mum. I'll protect, I'll protect any part of my family. I don't give a shit who it is. Uh, crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. But, you know, she could have tried, she could have tried and punch me. She could try and grab something and hit me. But you don't know. I kept my eye on her all the time. And I, said, I said, get out of my space now. I looked at her, smiled at her, I said, I guess this is a problem. Ah, and she's like, no. And I goes, well, get out of my space then. Don't come near me. Seriously, because if you do, then that will be it. I'm giving you friendly advice. Don't come in my space. And that's it. And, and then she walked away. I was like, good. Walk away. That's where you're safe, isn't it? Walk away. Stupid cow. But I wasn't doing anything. All I was doing just dancing. And I smiled at that girl. I think it might have been a friend. I don't know. I smiled at her. You know, just being friendly, smiled. I didn't do anything. Just, I didn't try to dance. I just smiled, and all of a sudden she came up to me, went like that to me, and she's like, she's like, she's like, ah. Oh. She was, what's that? She was. Is that Hillary? Is it Hillary? Her, is that Harry or Hillary? Harry? Is it? Oh, all right, <laughs> all right. But um. Women are try women when women have a few of this, they think they think they can hit, hit men. And if one day when I get myself in a relationship and she tries to boss me around, try and smack me one, I'll be like, Don't even try that. I say, because if you do, you'll be gone. I'd rather be single and put up with somebody like that. You know, if she's on some kind of mental health or something like that, no chance. I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather just do what I'm doing, be by myself, and I'd rather just do what I'm doing. People, you know, you get some crazy bitches out there. You get some crazy women out there. You know, think they could think they can take men on, and I don't know why they can because obviously technically men are more stronger than women, aren't they? So I don't know why they try to do it, but they do because they think they're big and they try to show off in front of their friends, don't they? So uh, I don't know why they do it, but they just do, you know, in general. She had a sword. Hey, eh? really? That's a bit random. A sword. Where did she get the sword from then? Was it in the house? It wasn't outside, was because nobody would carry a sword around outside, would they? Doubt it. Uh, like when I put this guy in his place in school because he started on me. Yeah, good, good. Because he's a bully, that's all he is. And you take the bully out, that's it. They won't pick, won't pick on you. Pick on you again. I bet he doesn't pick on you again, does he? You can put him in his place. That's it. Put him in his place. Big hard, what's that? Big hard sword samurai. Oh, like a samurai sword, really? You know. So she must have been crazy then, whoever she was. Wow, that's a bit random picking something up like that, isn't it? No, he doesn't. Good.
Good, good. Yeah, because like I say, you put him in his place, didn't you? You put him in his place, and you, and you say, don't basically don't mess around with me. And that's it. Because if he didn't do anything, he would have continued to try to bully you and bully you until like, until you did something to fin to finish it off. So, a bully. If you don't retaliate back on a bully, they'll continue, continue, continue to to torment you and, and pick on you and, and do something to you and you humil humiliate you in front of everybody until you do something to 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 um you know to respond back to retaliate back, and that's what most people don't do. They let them just bully them and bully them and bully them. Then one day they snap, but they go right, okay, then I've had enough now, and now I'm going to sort you out. And that's it. So we're. Uh, I keep I keep on a couple of messages coming up saying about health or review. I don't know what that is. Have a look at it. Do you wank? Why are you asking me a stupid question like that for, but Benjamin? That's a bit weird. I don't know why you're asking me that for. That's a bit. That's that's quite rude, actually. Uh, have you ever bum? Hey. Have you ever bummed a man with dry sand? Oh, strange. But like I say, Jack, though, um, taking the piss is inny. Well, it's, it's, it's saying a couple of weird things on, on to me about, about sexual stuff now. It's getting a bit too much now. That's why it says about show hide about the comments. I don't know why it's saying that for. That's a bit weird. I don't know, but it's a bit strange that the last two comments he sent me. So I don't know on that. And a few messages come through now. So we're. Uh... So what's what's your plans for tonight, everybody? Everybody doing anything tonight? Anything good tonight? So we're uh, do a couple uh, do um a couple more gaming videos tonight. I think so I want to build the gaming uh, channel up a bit now. So I've only got like nine subscribers. So I'm trying to get a quite a few subscribers on there. So I want to do a live video. You see, I want to do some live videos on my gaming channel as well. So I want to do that. Um. What I've only got, I think I've only got about thirty odd videos on there at the moment. Chilling, what's that? Annie, Annie, is that Animia? Animia? Oh, I don't know what that means. Benjamin Jack. Uh, bit strange comments coming out, aren't they? A bit weird. What? Uh, ain't is that ain't and is that end timey timey a timey? I, I don't know what that means. I don't know. I've heard of that. I don't know what that means. It's a bit strange that I don't know what that means. Oh 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 yeah oh you're watching it are you? Oh right sorry. I did I didn't know what it meant. So I did I didn't know what it meant. So I was a bit confused about that. Sorry, but uh, yeah. Is that the is that the like the cartoon, like a film cartoon thing, is it that? Is it that? I, I don't know. I, I don't think I've heard of it before. Oh, all right. I wasn't sure. You see. Uh, I think I've seen some of a bit of it on telly, but I don't think it's really my cup of tea. Left at loud spelling mate. Oh. Yes, it is. All right. Okay. 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 Okie dokie, picking a pokey. Aha. Well, at least one thing. At least, at least it's going. This is going a bit better than it did last time. Anyway, the Q and A because the Q and A the other night was actually shocking. The other night it was just, it was terrible. The other night, but um, it's actually quite fun to do these live videos. It's good. I like it. You know, I want to say I want to get to start doing some on TikTok now. Uh, but obviously, you have to get like a thousand uh, followers on TikTok before you can start going live. Uh, cushion there. So, um, I mean, I mean, I need a long more way to go yet, but it's good though. It's good fun. You know, it's actually good to talk to people and then, and then have a chat and 
just have some, you know, some relaxing time, you know, so they're doing the training all the time. It's nice to do, you know, to have a nice to have a chat with people, isn't it? You know, and that. So, uh, so it was. Keep grinding. Grinding, that's, that's when you grind a girl, uh, Benjamin. When you're in a club and you grind a girl, you're doing this, you're grinding her. That's, that's grinding. That's to me, grinding a girl. That's when you're dancing with her. That's the only thing I can think of is that. So. <clears throat> Especially when you get, you know, when some music comes on, you start grinding the girl, like, you're behind you grinding her, like, giving, her, giving her a good dance and that, and she likes it. So. That's the only thing I can think of about that. You know, the grinding. <laughs> so, yeah, the grinding. Especially when a song comes on, you know, like a 50 Cent Candy Shop or something like that comes on. Uh, Benjamin taking the piss. He's a div, mate. Uh, I don't know. You get some people come on on your live, don't you? You're acting a bit strange, don't you? I suppose, but I don't know. Suppose it's part of the suppose it's part of the fun of the live videos, isn't it? As long as you don't do go too OTT, but you know, I suppose I'm having fun. Oh well, yeah. Well, you got to have fun, don't you? You only live once, don't you? So you got to enjoy yourself, haven't you? Nothing that now. You got to enjoy yourself. You only live once, don't you? So you know, you got to enjoy yourself. There's no point being boring, is there? Just enjoy yourself. So I say, you know, enjoy yourself and have a good time. Have fun somewhere else. Yeah. But well, to say it depends on what kind of fun though, isn't it? You know, it depends what kind of fun you're having, you know, I suppose. But you know. Oh. get a few comments on the TikToks coming through now. I'm getting a bit popular on TikTok now. Get a few pop bit popular on TikTok now a bit. Um so I did, somebody uh, asked me a request to do a video about bananas next now, and uh, obviously uh, dental floss. Yes, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Melody. Yeah. Um, getting a bit out of hand now, isn't it? A bit stupid now. I know it's a bit of fun, but it's getting a bit too much now. The comments are coming are getting a bit too, you know, OTT now, aren't they? I mean, it started off fun, all of a sudden started off a bit weird now. You know. I don't know. But I'm, I'm I'm still getting used to the live videos, you see. Yeah, thanks. Cheers, thanks. Uh, I'm still getting used to the live videos, but you do get some people come on who are acting a bit strange. It's like when I, it's like last night I was watching a few live uh, TikTok videos last night when I was in bed, and, and and some people on on the live videos, what they're saying to people, it's just, it's just unbelievable. It, it's weird what they're putting on there. I'm thinking, what are you putting stuff like that for? They're putting all this kind of weird stuff. And... You know, I know it's a live video, but they're just putting some some of the comments they put on there was just basically baffling. I'm thinking, well, why the hell would you put? I won't say what they are, but they're just things you don't really want to you want to hear. Some like really weird, weird, weird uh, sorry, weird things. Oh, what's that? Is that a is that emoji? A uh, uh, melody? Is that a? Uh, I'm gonna have a look. Oh, I'm not sure what the emoji is, but I think that's emoji, isn't it? What do you do for a job, mate? Um, nothing at the moment. I'm just. I used to do re retail work and uh, work at KFC, but at the moment I'm not working at the moment. But because um, I'm over, I'm over here for a while, you see. So I'm going to see if we can try and get a bit of something down here if I can. I don't know. But my mate, oh, thumbs up to you as well. Thanks very much, Melody. Thumbs up. In fact, yeah, I'll give you. Hang on a second. Hang on. Camera's gone down. Sorry about that. Double thumbs up, okay? There you go. Double thumbs up. Right. Uh oh, forklifting, are you? Oh, great. Hey, just like at Shemu. You know, have you, have you played Shemu? You know, when when Ray does the fork, forklift driving, is it is it that one? The forklift. That looks fun. I bet. Are, are they hard to drive then, forklifts, or they're easy? Thank, thank you. No problemo. Always a pleasure. Hope you have a good night anyway, whatever you're doing or, you know, whatever you're doing tonight. If you're watching telly or something, I don't know. Um, uh, what's that? Is that is that fucking hell? Oh. 
na oh is that uh nah oh oh it's not it, it's not um hard to drive all oh, right i suppose it, it's it's supposed like when you when you first ride a bike isn't it you know you have to get used to it I suppose don't you but it does look fun though to do and that so yeah because I say when I've been playing Shamu, you see, I've seen when he does it. And it, it I know it's only a game, but it just looks fun to you know to actually drive one. You know when you when you're picking up the 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 crates, is it the crates and stuff when you're taking them around everywhere. Is it, well, obviously, in the game it's warehouses, but I don't know if you do it, you know, in real life. I don't know, but uh, it looks quite fun though. Yeah, you're right. All oh, right, is that right about the um, picking the things up on you know on the lift? It goes do, then you take it to like the warehouse and stuff like the. The, the wherever the, wherever you get wherever you pick up and stuff and that yeah yeah it looks good you know if you enjoy it you know if you enjoy it and you know you do it so uh oh are you, are you with Jack are you Melody oh right well, sorry I, di I didn't know you was oh yeah because it's um oh it's first to say isn't it oh yeah. oh yeah sorry I thought you was um I thought Jack was at our house. I'm with Jack and commentator. Commentator. All right. Yes. Great. That's good then. I don't enjoy it. Oh. All right. I thought you might have probably enjoyed it. Yeah. Awesome. Um. Is it a bit of a shit job? Is it a bit of a crap job then? Um. That the art. So is it quite a bit of a crap job? A bit like my KFC job was a disaster when I first worked there. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the I love the food, but the job is just absolutely terrible, absolutely terrible. I mean, I don't even why why they apply, uh, why they um, you know, gave me the job in the first place. And I'm thinking, well, why did you give me the job? They didn't even train me. It's actually rubbish. Um, it's not as fun as it looks, mate. All oh, right, all oh, right. I don't know. Well, that's just me watching the game. So I don't. That's just a video game. It's not real life, is it? So all oh, right. Tell me about it, KFC. Um, well, basically, KFC was a disaster because they never trained me. I was only there three days. I went in my first first job, first day, and this might sound a bit strange. Uh, hang on, we are practicing round kicks. Oh yeah, oh great, nice one. Um, went in my job first day. Didn't know what the hell I was doing. I, I basically I was I didn't know what I was doing. I was standing like a like a, like an idiot in front of people, <coughs> and um. People was doing this, you know, cooking the chicken and serving behind the counter and doing all whatever they do. And I was standing there and I didn't know what I was doing. Nobody come up to help me. Nobody said to me, right, Kevin, you got to do this, do that. And I said to the manager, I goes, uh, excuse me. I goes, can you actually show me what I'm doing? So I'm standing like a fool. Like, I, look like, I look like a complete idiot. I'm embarrassed. Um, and he goes, yeah, somebody with me, with you in a minute, Kevin. I goes, okay, then. And I was waiting around and waiting around and thinking, well, I'm going to make something's not right here. Why are they not showing me what to do? I don't get it. Um, and then I thought myself, right, I'm going to do something. I just, I went to, I just got myself a couple of those things where, you know, where you clean the tables. I cleaned a couple of tables and then I goes, right, I've had to do that myself. This is not right. Why did you employ me if you're not going to show me what to do? And then he goes, he goes, oh, we're busy. I goes, you're busy, yes, but, you know, somebody's got to show me what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. And I left it as that. I thought, well, okay, that'll be just like a one-off. Went to the day, went to the, uh, the second day, exactly the same. I didn't know what to do. And do you know what they showed me what to do? This you might probably laugh at this. They showed me how to wash my hands. Just use some stuff on your hands, you know, for, for hygiene and stuff. That's what they did. So basically, I was there for three days, and and the, it always just showed me what to do. Was was well, I did myself with the tables, but always just showed me what to do. Was was uh, um wash uh, wash my hands and anybody anybody can wash their hands can't they? That's it. And I'm thinking right, I've had enough. I'm going. I'm 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 walking out. I guess right, I'm walking out. I'm going. I'm off. Yeah. And I said to I said to the manager, goes, why the hell did you employ me? I guess what's the point? I guess I could have been doing something else for three days, couldn't I? And then we had, I had a bit of disagreement. With him. I guess right, there's your there's your uniform. There's there's your badge and i said i'm off i'm going i'm off they didn't even well they didn't even give me a badge first they didn't even give me a badge either i had to ask for a badge and there's another thing what 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 basically annoyed me as well well yeah you know when you go in the back 
you have to put like, I think it's like a four or five digit code in to get in the back. It didn't even tell me the digit code to get into the back. And I was like, what's the digit code? I don't know where, how am I going to get in the back if I don't know the code? Can you see what I mean? I see why I left. That's why I left. But there you go. So that's that story for you about KFC. So uh, um, could you beat a chicken in a rehab? Beat a chicken? I don't know. <laughs> Not sure about that. I don't know. Uh, wow. Thanks, Melody. Um, that's bad, mate. Yeah, it is bad. Um, I just don't know what. Like I say, I don't know why they why they employed me for because it's just waste wasting wasting my time. I could have been doing something else. I could have been searching for other jobs. I could have been doing something else, but I was stuck in that place for for that time and didn't even do what I was doing. Uh, oh yeah, another thing what they did as well. He goes, right, Kevin, you're gonna go on the front, you're gonna go on the front bit, you know, we serve. Right, and I goes, Well, I don't know what I'm doing. And he goes, Well, somebody will show you what to do. And I was standing there, right, where the till is. They have no training the till or nothing like that. And and, and people's asking me for orders. I goes, Well, I'm sorry, but I don't know what I'm doing. I've not been trained. And and people was moaning. I goes, Look, don't moan at me. I goes, I've not been trained. I goes, they haven't trained me. And I was asking people next to me, can you show me what to do, please? I look like a fool, I look like an idiot, I look like a clown here. And they goes, oh, we're busy. I was like, well, I'm going. I'm p sorry, I'm going. I'm I'm walking out. I'm off. I'm off. That's where that's where basically I'm, I'm like that's it. I'm going a one. I'm walking off now. Because <clears throat> so can you see how the, how the the job was crap? It was rubbish. Not for me. So anybody can walk, put their hands under the tap and wash their hands, can't they? Use that stuff for your hands. That's it. That's all they show me what to do. That's it. In three days, and 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 if I was there any longer. I don't think they would have shown me any more, would they? So, uh, nah, yeah, but um, disaster job. It's like it's like um, a job from hell, basically, and that. But um, I bet McDonald's is the same. Macadies, I bet that's the same when you first stop Macadies. I bet that's the same. Obviously, Burger King, I bet that's the same because it's near on the same job, isn't it? In a way, you know. But I know it's a different name, but <clears throat> but uh, yeah, it was, it was absolute disaster. Never again. Tell you that now. No. Have you seen my handmaiden? Someone's handmaiden. Someone stole it. I don't know. I don't know what you mean about that, Benjamin. Handmaiden. You can. You put a bit weird comments on here, aren't you? I don't know why you're putting stuff like that. It's a bit strange. Uh. Yeah. I hear you, mate. Oh, thanks. Yeah. But look, it's like your job though, isn't it, Deadly Art? It's like your job. It's like you going to your job and not even showing how to do your forklift driving. You stand there and you're thinking, well, what do I do? How do I, how do I work this forklift? It's like the same principle in a way, isn't it? You know, people are doing the forklift. They're doing what they're doing. You're standing there looking around and thinking, what, what, what am I doing? I'm standing like a fool. Idiots. Idiots. I mean, the manager's a complete dick anyway. He's a bit idiot. I'm like, what... You know, what the hell did you employ me for? Wasted my time. I could have done something else. But, uh, yeah, um, hand. Is that glider, is it? Gilder? Glider? I don't know. Well, I don't know what that means. I don't know. Um, But, so just wasted my time. Three days. Oh, three days was that place. And three days, I could have done something else with my time. And being that, sh and that being that, uh, that crap old place where I was. So, you know, I mean, they gave me the job straight away. I did the interview. The interview went well. They goes, well, you got the job now, Kevin. I goes, oh, good, thanks. And then, obviously, like I say, the first time I walked in there, I looked like a rat, right, but looked like a rat right lemon. I tell you, looked like a rat, right, rat right pillock. I just didn't know what I was doing. Everybody was doing what they was doing. I was standing like a fool. So, uh, I have roughly the same experience the first day I started. Oh, did you really? Oh, that's so it's not just me then. But I mean, why did, say, why did they give you the job if you're not going to train you? This is what I don't get. I don't get with people. You know, you get trained, don't you? You tra They train you. You're not supposed to walk into a job and you don't know what to do. You know, it don't make sense, does it? That's like me walking, that's like me, right, being a, a, not done any martial arts ever. That's like me walking into, into an experienced martial art uh, place, like a jiu-jitsu class. And they go, right, Kevin, you got to do this, do, do this, do this. I'm thinking, well, hang on a minute, I've not been trained. 
I do I, how can I do that? I don't know what I'm doing. And that person's basically battering me in, in, in say, grappling or, or, or whatever. And I'm thinking, well, I'm going to, I don't know what I'm doing. You know, you're chucking me into the base of the deep end. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. It's like that, isn't it? Same, same, kind of same principle in a way. Uh, before I was on the forklift, got to train me on it. So they had to, so they had to bid time. Anyway, the, they gave me a, um, a scan gun and was using the gun, but it, I didn't know how to use it. Oh, all right. And it was the driving past me and the walking past me was some, the, yeah. So basically, you had the kind, of, well, kind of like the same experience as me in some ways then, but I don't think it was as bad as mine, but you, you got it a bit though, didn't you? You know, and I just don't get it. I don't, I don't get it. Why, why the, the, the give you the job and, and they don't even train you. So I don't get it. I don't know. It's very strange. So, but uh, the next one I get though, if it's not going to be disastrous, KFC, and I mean they say the interview, well, the inter I basically passed the interview like a, like a, like as sweet as a nut. But when I got to the job, it's like no, it's like nobody could be bothered to train me, you know. And I just felt like a complete, I felt like a complete idiot. I'm like, what? I goes, come on, seriously, do something. I go, what, what am I doing? I'm just standing. All I did about was stand near, near the bit in the kitchen bit, and I was standing there look, looking around like this, doing this, you know. And people was like, they was doing the job and doing the chicken, like I say, the chicken, doing all the, you know, all the burgers and doing all stuff like that. And I'm standing there like a fool. And nobody's talking to me. Nobody's giving me feedback. Nobody's talking to me about anything. Nobody's saying, right, Kevin, you do this, you do that. This is the, you know, where everybody does the food. This is the, you know, this, that, and the other. You know, you get the general idea. Um, and I, I just kept asking people. I goes, come on, seriously, can somebody show me what to do? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, in a minute, we're busy. Uh, well, you said that about half an hour ago, and I'm standing, still standing like a, like a fool. What am I doing? You know, I could have done it. I mean... It might sound a bit strange, but I could have I could have started doing I could have done some of my training. I could have, I could have done some of my training for a bit at home or or, or somewhere or somewhere. At least I can enjoy myself. You know what I'm doing? Not saying like a like, like a bloody fool standing there looking at what I'm doing. You know, looking around, see what I'm doing anywhere. But it's a disaster that was. Never again. I'd rather just do what I'm doing now. You know, but uh, I want to try and get a big fan base. Well, try and get a big fan base on here. And obviously TikTok as well. So obviously, if I do that at some point, you know, then um, uh, what's that? Not as bad as you, your man. Oh yeah. Well, I don't know what you've done if he's in my situation. Then deadly or I don't know. But uh, I don't think you would have been happy if you stand there like an idiot, like what I was doing. I mean, I've got I've got a lot a lot of patience, and I and it's very very rare. I, you know, I get a bit upset, but. I started. I think to myself, what the what the hell am I doing here? What the, what am I doing? Seriously, you know. I'll say I've got patience of a saint. I have, and I'm a very quiet person. But when you're standing around looking like a fool, what do you do in that situation? When you're talking to people, not even talking to you, what do you do? Nothing. It's something you can do, is he? You know, until somebody comes and 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 trains you. It's like watching paint dry. It's not like watching paint dry. You paint a wall. It's like watching paint dry. Isn't it? So, you know. But like I said, I gave him a right bollock and I told him off. I goes, Well, I'm off now. You can have you can stick your job but where the sun don't shine. And that's it. You can stick it and I don't want it. You can have you can have your um uniform back. And I goes, I want my pay. He says, You'll get your pay in the next couple of days. So I've got my pay. And I goes, Right, that's it, good, done. Goodbye. Does paint dry? Yeah, of course it dries. That's a bit of a daft question, isn't it, Benjamin? It don't say wet, does it? When you when you when you paint a wall, do you? It's, it goes dry. Is that a bit um, not being funny? But that that's a bit of a stupid question, that isn't it? Obviously, a paint a paint's going to dry when you paint a wall, isn't it? Or paint something is going to dry. But like I say, it's a, it's an absolute disaster job, and that's it. It's gone now. So uh, why don't they start you on a less busy? How uh, wait, that's, oh, wait, no. I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine, so I don't know. But 
what I say, what's the point in giving me the job? I don't get why they get why they gave me the job in the first place. I don't get it why they did it. So I don't, I don't know. Waste of time, waste of my time, and uh, obviously they don't really give a damn, do they? You know. But I mean, it's like nobody nobody even spoke to me. I'll get there. I think somebody spoke to me once. That's it. Nobody spoke to me. Have a conversation with me. Nobody like. Wants to make friends with me. Nobody wants to do nothing. They just, they just basically. It's like I wasn't there. It's like I was standing there. And I wasn't, I wasn't there. You know. You should go. What's that? You should go on a paddy. Comedy live tonight. You can't stand there at work. At look, look, it's bad. Well, what, what, what else could I do? I couldn't do nothing, could I? I kept asking people and asking people. I must have asked about, what, about 15 people to train me to do something, and they just basically just annoying me. They wasn't, they wasn't talking to me. You know? It's like, it's like talking to a bit. Well, you're not going to get any response. Oh, yeah. I don't know. But um, I'm glad I got... I'm glad I walked out of there anyway. In fact, I mean, if I went there a bit longer, I don't know what would happen. I don't know. I don't know what would happen. I don't, I, I don't know if I would... I wouldn't have lost it, but I would have probably told somebody off. I would, like, shout at somebody and say, look, show me what show me what I'm going to do here, this job, and that. Some, well, I, probably, I don't know what I've done. I don't know. But I, I just walked out. The best thing to do is just walk out, isn't it, and just quit the job and walk out. That's what I did. So that's what I did. So that's the best thing to do, and it's just walk out. Um, but like I say, it was just like a, a nightmare from hell job. That's what I think. And I don't think that manager's there now anyway. Um, because I've been in there a couple of times in the past and I don't think that manager's there. I think somebody else has took over now. I think it's a woman took over now, like a manager. So I, don't, I think he's gone now, whoever, whatever his name was. Shadow, Shadow Boxer Paddy, good stuff. You love it. And Judas, Jimmy, many. I never heard of, I never heard of him, Benjamin. Don't know. I don't never heard of him. I don't know. Paddy, Paddy. No, I don't. I don't know. I don't. I've never heard of him. So, are they on YouTube? So, because I say I watch some YouTube. I watch quite a few YouTube videos and I, and, I, and stuff like that. But I, I don't think I've heard of him. No, don't ring a bell to me. No, don't. But um, you know, I do watch some bits and bobs on YouTube and stuff. He's at Scanster. Uh, oh, right, is he? Oh, right. I don't know. But I do watch some different ones, you know, like a variety, and just like um, obviously the the girl with the black belt when she was like doing the say the point spine the point spine trainer to that other guy. I mean, it's good to say it's good to watch. I enjoyed it. It's just that it just I don't think it work out there, but it's just my opinion. But um, it's good though. You know, I know what what I'm saying is you're at work. You just don't look good. No, it, I just felt embarrassed. I mean, would I mean, would you be embarrassed? I felt embarrassed. I was like, come on, seriously. You know, just stupid. They would love you. Why is that? Why would they love me? How come? No. Oh. But uh, yeah, absolute shocking job. Rubbish. Never again. Never again, no. But say my main focus, my main focus is on my training now, and my main focus is to do what I do and what I enjoy. You see, because you are cool. Oh, thanks. So, but um, my main focus now is do what I do and what I enjoy. You see, and nothing's going to stop me from doing what I do. Even if I get into, if if I get into a relationship again, I'm like, I'm I'm still going to continue doing my training. I don't give a damn. You know, this is what I do and it's what I love and it's what I enjoy to do, you see. And I've been doing it for a long time and I just I just like doing it. It's just, it's just me. But, um, well, I mean, I've had a few people saying to me I'm cool and stuff on TikTok as well, you know, and some people saying I'm dangerous, but I don't think I'm dangerous. I'm just like a normal person, you know. I'm just like, you know, I'm a fun person. I'm, I'm you know, I'm a happy person. I do a lot of fun stuff. You know, I'm human. I mean, I'm human like other people. I'm not. I'm not this person. People keep saying I am. I just do it. You know, I just do it for the training. You know, and I just have fun times and have a laugh. I mean, you know, I mean, the other week when I went clubbing, you know, 
and obviously now I'm at a training zone now. I'm in a different. I'm in a different mood. I'm in. I'm in fun mood. You know, obviously playing my games and stuff. And I'm a fun. I'm a fun person. But when I get into training zone, I'm like, I'm. It's like a light switch. I'm like this. I'm like like that. I'm. I'm a light switch. I, I switch from being obviously what I'm now, and to just to being like the training zone. Then when I come out of training zone, I'm back to normal again. Like it's like a light switch, basically. You know. But I'm a fun person. I'm, you know, and I and I, I do, um, you know, help people and stuff. I mean, I'm helping. I'm helping people on uh, TikTok because I mean, somebody requested uh, on TikTok earlier about showing how to do a tie round kit because somebody's getting competition. I was like, yeah, I'll show you. I don't mind, you know. And I did that. So, hi, right, Jackie, back. How are you? Um, uh, yeah, both. You remember the PS One? Oh yeah, PS One. Yeah, I love the PS One. Yeah, the games as well. Yeah, I love PS1. PS2, uh, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Mega Drive, Super Nintendo, NES, Jaguar. Yeah, I remember all the old classic uh, ones, yeah. I, I, you been going on, Jack? You've been, you've been learning about the kicks and stuff, the round kits, as you say. You and Melody have been doing some. You've been doing some of the kicks and that. So, uh, yeah, you can't beat the old classic games. And that I love my PS4, my PS5. I love them. Uh, but um, I need, I, I, how are you? Oh, awesome. Are you getting on? Good connection. Oh, I don't, I don't know what happened there, guys. Something happened there. I think it probably the connection was bad or something. I don't know what happened there. So I cut off for a bit. I don't know what happened there. Oh, I'm going back on now. I'm back on now. Um, yeah, uh, it was good. Um, good. All oh, right, great. So I'm going to uh, cut off soon because I'm going to get ready, uh, get some tea soon, and then start doing some gaming videos for a bit. Um, play. I think I'm going to play Cyberpunk 2077 because I keep saying I'm going to play it. I haven't played it properly yet. Only done the, the training part. So, and I've got some uh, re uh, replies back on TikTok as well in a minute. So I'm going to do that in a bit and uh, just have a nice chill that night. Then tomorrow back on the train tomorrow. So. Um, I don't know if you've seen the, the videos, Jack, but I've got I've got uh, the bananas and the apples now to do, and I've got something else to show you as well, and another improvised weapon to show you as well. Um, so I've actually got something. Well, I don't know if people will probably agree what I'm going to do on the improvised weapon tomorrow because uh, the boy thinks it's a bit silly or a bit laughable, but I but obviously it was, you can still use it, and I think it will work. That's what I think, but. You know, obviously people will probably disagree with me about it and probably say, no, it won't work or it's probably daft or something. But, you know, like I say, if you have to use it, you have to use it. I was like, yeah, boy. Boy, is it boy? All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, so. Uh, but I've got the, I say, somebody keeps requesting on TikTok about some apple, um, no, a, banana, a, a packet of bananas. And I was like, well, I'll get you some bananas then, so I'll show you. And somebody keeps asking me about dental floss as well. You know, uh, floss, um, they want to show something about in the bathroom or something. I don't know if they're taking the mic or not. I don't know. But they keep asking me about um, the improvised weapon with the dental floss. I, I don't know if they're probably taking the mic. I don't know. But he keeps asking, this guy keeps asking me about four times about getting dental floss. And I've been trying to find some, but I can't find it at the moment. I don't know where. I'll have to keep looking, I suppose. But I don't know. But you get some uh, strange people on... on um, TikTok when they when they ask you for all these different kind of kind of stuff, you know, uh, different kind of things like um, for the we improvised weapons and that. I mean, somebody said to me about you know what I don't know if you've seen, but I've seen the one about the toothpaste. Somebody saying to me about does it matter what kind of pet toothpaste it is? Or I'm like, yeah, it doesn't matter what kind of toothpaste as long as it's as long as it's a tube of toothpaste. Does it matter? Squirt it in the eye or, or smash it in the face or hit him in the throat or hit him in the eye with a pointer bit. Does it matter if it's Colgate or whatever kind of stripe, whatever kind of toothpaste? As long as it does a job, it doesn't matter, does it? You know, it doesn't matter if it's what kind of brand it is, if it's any kind of brand. You know, it's like if, like obviously, like a tin of tuna fish. Does it matter if it's John West or it doesn't matter what kind of brand it is, as long as it does a job and you hit him with it, if you have to, you do it. And that's it. It doesn't matter what brand it is, does it? You do get some daft comments on there, you do, from um, from people. Oh, stand up a second. You do get some daft, you do get some daft comments on there, you do, from uh, people about um, bits and bobs, you know. 
So I've just gone to sleep a bit. We'll just uh, shut my legs. I've gone to sleep a bit. Uh, yeah, you get some daft people on there um, taking the piss, mate. Yeah. What is that? Do you think they're taking the piss about the um, about the dental floss and that? Because obviously with the dental, you have to pull it out, don't you? The dental floss. Then obviously, is it that tube thing? You have to pull it out. Then obviously, you can use the dental floss. So you keep saying about, oh, I need to, I need to do it because I'm going to get attacked in my bathroom. I'm like attacked in your bathroom. It goes by you, and he goes, oh, by the girlfriend. That goes, so she, she's attacking in the bathroom. You need dental floss. There's plenty more things to use that dental floss, isn't there? Look at your surroundings. Where you can in a bathroom, where you can use for, to to hit hit somebody in the bathroom. You know. He uh, well, you know, it's not rocket science, is it? You think we you think we can use in your bathroom to 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 do some somebody if you have to do it. So I think they are taking the piss. Yeah, I think they are taking the mick. But I think TikTok's probably worse than here on YouTube, because TikTok they just people just like saying all these weird stuff to me. And and I and I'm just confused. dot com. I'm like, what what the hell are you talking about? You know, I don't get what you mean. Asking me all these weird stuff and that. Sit back down now. Asking me all this weird stuff and and stuff like that. And and it, it's just baffling. It really is baffling, people. I don't get with people sometimes, but it's the world we live in, though, isn't it? You know. But obviously, you get some good people on there, it's good comments, and asking me about doing stuff. But, uh, um. The other people, they just like text me and saying, like they say about the brand of toothpaste or the brand of whatever brand it is. Will that work if if he did that with something like that? And I goes, it's the same principle. What is what you're saying to me? Of course it'll work. You can use anything as improvised weapon to, to to defend yourself. It doesn't matter what it is. You can use it. I've done quite a few on my channel about loads of improvised weapons. You can. You see. You can you can you you can basically use anything as one if you had to do it. You know, just because I've done all my all my training for the years, like I said on other videos, if I have to grab something and use it, I'd use it, and that's it. I don't give a damn. No, as long as it, as long as it saves me, and doesn't I, I don't get hurt? That's fine. Then obviously when you hit them with that, then obviously then you go you have strikes to finish them off. But you no, know, it's like when I went to the supermarket earlier. Look all the improvised weapons in that supermarket you can use. It's like it's like your birth, it's like birthday and Christmas and coming in, 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 in five minutes. All the stuff on the shelves you can use, the tins, the the, the the all the all the stuff. If you grab something, whack them with it. If you have to do it, hit them with it. That's what I'd do. You know, cans and, and say cans and, and and all different kind of stuff you can use on there. It, it's un it's unbelievable how much stuff you can use in the supermarket. I'd say probably the supermarket is probably the best one. Because you've got so much stuff you can, on them aisles which you can pick on there to do it, if you had to. Or your, tro your shopping trolley or your basket. You know. It's, it's, it's unlimited. Oh, and by the way, um, I'm going to do another, a video soon as well, um, uh, which you've not seen yet. I'm thinking about doing a video where, you know, in my chair, what I've got. You know, I did the one, I don't know if you've seen it ages ago, but I did the one where... If someone's wheelchair bound and they can't move the bottom, you know, lower body, just say if they're paralyzed from lower lower down and they can't um use the bottom part, the you know, the legs and stuff. I'm thinking about doing a video where you know, if you're sitting down at the bar, you know, somebody just say if you're sitting down at the bar and somebody comes up to you in your space, and I'm thinking about doing a video like that. Uh, that's what I thought, um, at some point as well. Um, uh, just doing like a variety, you see, different, the different stuff and that. So, uh, so yeah. But if any more, if anybody wants any requests to me, just just uh, message me, and I'll try my best to help. Right, but uh, I've only got limited space in these, so I can try and do my best for you and help you. You know, um, you know, I just try to help people. That's what I do. That's just the way I am. You know, people appreciate me, and people don't take the piss and don't take the mick. You see, um. But um, I am showing all my stuff on here for free to people, and just some people are just ungrateful. Some people are, you know, they like they just take the mick. They do. I'm thinking, well, all the years of training I've done, all the money I've paid, and all the hours of practice I've done to do this to get this far, and I'm doing this on here for free, and people just take the mick. And I don't get why they do it, but they do. You know, I mean, if somebody was showing me on on a, on a YouTube channel for free, and I was watching. I'm thinking, oh, you know, I could learn that. No, thanks very much for I can learn that. I can I can write some notes down. You know, I can go in the mirror and practice or my, or on a phone camera, I can practice, you see. 
So uh, I'm just checking my batteries on 13%. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But uh, there's, there's plenty more videos to come for you, everybody. Um, it won't be long before I'm reaching that 200 mark soon. Hopefully soon, anyway. Because I'm 166 now. I'm getting a few more subscribers coming. And that. So I hope, it all, I hope it's all helping you anyway. I hope you're all learning some stuff, what, you know, what I'm doing for you. I hope you're learning, you know, bits and bobs. And so if you just write them down in the book or something, just write down, like, say, you know, the move I'm doing, then just remember it's like a script and just, and just practice it. Just do that. You see? So, yeah. But uh, I put all my shopping away now and uh, I'm going to get cracking soon. Uh, well, I've got to charge my phone. I'm going to do, I'm going to play FIFA for a bit first. Get my phone charged up, then do a couple of gaming videos later, then get into bed and watch some telly tonight, watch some Netflix tonight. Um, I think I, I don't know if anybody else is commentating. Uh, any more messages? It stopped a bit now. Uh, There's only three people people online now. So, well, at least one thing. These, these, this, this one's gone better than last time anyway, because last time was a disaster last time. So this one's good anyway. And that, so... Uh, uh, looking forward to the weekends. Going out clubbing at the weekend. Going uh, clubbing again like I did last time. So I'm, I'm looking forward to going clubbing again this weekend. I know if you try and get on the dance floor and try and get and try and pull some ladies this time and try not get well, someone try not to buddy hit me like they did last time. Well, years and years ago, but you know, have some selfies for some ladies if I can, like I did last time. You know, probably, uh, well, figure that some kind of chick magnet, can't I? Magnet. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, but. You know, it'd be nice to do, wouldn't it? Have another self with some girls and stuff and that. But, um, yeah. So I'll be heading off in a minute then, everybody. So thanks very much for watching and thanks very much for having a chat with me about stuff. It's nice to have a chat with everybody about everything. Um, I'll be doing another Q&A again soon, probably next couple of days or so. Um, you know, just have a chat to everybody and sit and, uh, you know, chill out time. So nice to have a chat, you know, so doing the training all the time. So nice to have a chat. Um, but say if you if anybody wants to ask me any questions about anything, just let me know and I'll try my best to help you, all right? Uh I don't think nobody's actually texted me now. I think that's it now. And so yeah. Okay, dokie then. I'm heading off now then. Because I'm getting sorted up now. So thanks so much to say for everybody for being on my live video and uh and that's nice to chat to everybody and everything. So, like I said, I'll be doing another video again soon. Um, look after yourselves and, um, you know, take care. Look after yourselves and stay safe. And uh, I'll see you again soon in another video, all right? So, I'll see you later. Have a good night and I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.